Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm CNC Don. I'm Ike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. All right. Well, if you listen to yesterday's ep- episode, yeah. TNT dropped a bombshell. So I, I signed up for Neuralink. Okay. So what what is Neuralink for, if people haven't heard us talk about it before? Okay. So Neuralink is a... Um, the device itself is like a, a net mesh that uh, is surgically implanted into the skull and it lies over the surface of the brain um i'm not sure if it uh is directly onto the brain or not but either way there's a bunch of electrodes that go into different parts of the brain and it allows you to access uh i don't know um like the internet turns your brain into a computer essentially yeah and it can also be used to help people with physical disabilities as well Oh, like if you like have like a injury to your brain it can like help facilitate that yeah i guess it's kind of using as a as an adaptive device where it can like uh integrate with certain devices and i i don't know if it can help people communicate but i think it does i think it can help people like a communicate. stroke victim who can't talk could have that put yeah. in and they could like think thoughts and it would go onto a screen or something see i'm I see i don't know i don't yeah, want to yeah, say yeah. for sure well, but there don't... are certain cases where it can be used as an adaptive and we don't device. even know what it's fully capable of to be honest yeah, yeah. i'm not really um i'm not 100 so, sure either way i signed up okay for, for it's, 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 it's an elon company and it's it got approved for preliminary mm-hmm. human trials, and TNT it has did. now signed up to be a guinea pig. Okay, so I don't know if I signed up for the preliminary human trials because I don't know if those are open yet. I feel like it would have been publicized a little bit more, but I did go into the Neuralink website, and I signed up for uh, what I was able to sign up for. Um, did I it don't tell know you if- compensation? Did it mention compensation at all? So I read through a lot of the documentation and I didn't really see anything. If anything, I saw more like, hey, yo, you at your own, you're on your own. That's yeah. kind of what it came across. Yeah, that's as. what I figured, yeah. Um, but it seems to me as like at the stage that it is right now, is that they're looking for people with debilitating uh disabilities. Oh, like, okay, gotcha, gotcha. So it was like a lot of questions like that, and I'm like, bro, I'm 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 good. Actually. You're, yeah, you're like, no, I don't have all those things. But I did sign up, so I'm ready to go whenever Elon's ready to hit me up, man. I hope he listens to the podcast. He's gonna what show up tomorrow. Listens? What's that? He's gonna show up at the door tomorrow. Yo, that would be cool. He'd be like ding ding ding. Hey there, TNT. I'm just, <laughs> that would be all if Elon showed up, offered me a horse. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you say about a horse? Elon had that one that one story where he offered a flight attendant a horse for sexual. Oh activity. yeah, he's like, listen, I'll buy you a pony for the peony. Yeah, yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, what would you do if they hit you up tomorrow? I guess I'd call off work first. <laughs> <laughs> fair i mean you work at night you could talk during the day yeah that's very true um they're supposed to send me an email if anything um but that yeah i don't know i would 100 percent listen to what they had to say yeah i want to know like even if they're just looking for like an everyday guy of my uh demographic or whatever that may be for the testing yeah let's go let's do it we want a super handsome fit i come on stop it. early early stop stop (laughs) Oh my god. <laughs> Jonas, Jonas is trying to riz me up. <laughs> this mouth is straight up uh, Livy and baby baby Gronk. Wow. Are you familiar with nope. this, Jonas? Not at all. What's oh, that? Oh my god. I don't know when this episode's coming out, goddammit, and that makes it kind of hard for me to talk about because it may be old news. Oh, that's but, fine. But baby Gronk got got rizzed up by Livy. I don't even know who either of those people mm, are. Baby Gronk is nine years old. He averages five touchdowns a game. Okay. Duh. Oh, okay. And Livy was going to get him to go to LSU, but Baby Gronk has been seen all over the place talking to like Deion Sanders and stuff. So, like, what's the hell? Children's football. So here's the thing: is that the Drip King, the Drip King was was Livy's ex boyfriend, but now Baby Gronk. Was rizzed up by Livy, so now Livy is with Baby Gronk. But Baby Gronk cheated on her, and he may be the new Drip King. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. What does this have to do with um, TikTok? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb Zoomer memes. What do you want, Jonas? You don't realize that Zoomers are retarded. Uh, can I say that? <laughs> you can't say. Can that. I say that? No. I'm pretty sure I can that. say that. I'm yeah. pretty sure. 
No. I've had three drinks at this point. I'm pretty sure I could say that uh, Zoomers are Baby, retarded. Hold on. Why do you say touchdowns per game? He gets five touchdowns a game. He's nine years old, dude. He's the, he's, look, man, he's Baby destined. Baby Kronk's cringe barstool sports interview sparks conversation around sharenting when parent uses their kid to go viral. <laughs> Baby Gronk's dad feeds son answers in cringeworthy interview. Say that louder. Dude, I gotta watch the Baby Gronk interview, dude. He's so awkward. And it's a goddamn shame because he's a nine-year-old child. Livy is like 19, 20 years old, all right? Oh, who is Baby Gronk? Did Livy riz him up? <laughs> what is any of this? <laughs> it says, what does any of this really mean? Let's it just... means nothing. She's Let's... like a 20-year-old woman. He's a 9-year-old oh child. Oh, my God. She did not riz him up. I actually watched the video. Dude, it's just a meme, all right? It's just a meme. Madden it's just funny, San funny. Miguel, known as Baby Gronk Online, and gymnast Olivia Dunn are going viral. No, not Liv No, come on. We are not going to start Olivia Dunn Baby Gronk episode. This is not what it's about. <laughs> we were talking about Neuralink. I mean, you're the one that brought it up. You, I know. You direct the conversation. I this was is the, where you... I was the, the delivering niche the memes the, the drip, way I always do. The Drip do. King? What's that? The Drip King? Yeah, you don't know about the Drip King. Don't even get me started on the Drip King. Don't even get me started. You, when you see the Drip, you will be absolutely astonished. I, I'm going to have to Google Drip oh, King. Listen, everybody at home, I want you to freaking take a second, all right? Even if you got to pause this episode, and I want you to Google the drip king and when you come back when you come back i want you to tell me what you think <laughs> <laughs> don't you laugh don't you dare laugh you you disrespect the, the drip end king. of the drip king Yo, oh no he has not been dethroned yet sir he has not been dethroned yet don't you dare put that on the he drip king thing like he, he kind of reminds me of the beebs no listen listen don't you dare Ever. He's more like logic than the beeps. All the right. Logic. He's a genius. The all right. King. And he gets made fun of for being black and white, even though he's clearly white. Don't you dare talk about the drip clean king. Drip, the drip I, saw, I almost sent you this video yesterday. What? What's that? What's that? What's it that? was it's a it's a town in Ohio. Remember it was like East Liverpool or something, which isn't far from like the north. It's in the northeast somewhere. Okay. And there was this lady as white as me, skin wise. And she was talking that's, about that's pretty that's up there. Yeah. Was talking Going about how how the whole city is made of black folks, but yeah. everyone that they showed had white skin. And she was like, back in the day, this used to be a town you know? and there was black folk and white folk and they did they made it and and even though I got white skin, I still my mom always considered us black folk, and I was just like, "What the Whoa, hell is happening right now?" It, it was just this, like old lady with like white hair, it, and she was so like nonchalant and casual about it. Like I it was like that. that was just what she believed. I love that. And dude. I was like, "What the hell is happening right now?" I love that. And her like white ass granddaughters, just like they're like, "This is my white granddaughter, my black granddaughter." And I was hey like, yo, look, hey, I love enthusiasts of the culture. I love a nice look. I'm gonna tell you right now, Jonas, <laughs> is that those girls could definitely get it. I love an enthusiast <laughs> of the culture, even grandma. I grandma can get it. All right, <laughs> hey, dead ass. Because if she feels like she's one one of the culture. I respect that. There's also people who are black who are enthusiasts of white culture. I would be considered one of those people, Jones. You'd be surprised. All right. Like, I'm literally wearing a Confederate flag t-shirt <laughs> right now. <laughs> He's not even lying. So, if you don't think I'm an enthusiast, it's <laughs> obviously, it's all me. It's but all memes, <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> if you don't think I'm not an enthusiast of white culture, I know, like, how many Nine Inch Nails songs? Yeah, Come on. Yeah. So, I, yeah, it's what, cool. What do they call people who are enthusiasts of another culture? Is there know. a name for I it? Just, I just call it an enthusiast. Like, okay. I'm, like, we've all come across that white girl who listens to all rap music, only dates She's got black braids dude. in her hair. Yeah, she likes to try to get that shit off. She likes to get a tan and be a little extra dark and shit. Look at, look at fucking Ariana Grande. 
Ooh, is, what is but that? It, she's not white, right? She's Italian. Stop it. The Grande is not her real name. The Grande. <laughs> get the fuck out of the lady. The bitch is Italian. Bad, bad baby. No, she, she's she, white as hell. That, that's what, what I mean. But like she's Dr. Phil White. Yeah, but she she's like she's got the she's she's yeah. an enthusiast of the culture. And it's crazy because like as soon as she, you know, like got of age, she started like trying to just like straight up get the tans and stuff. Now she's looking like a Kardashian. Oh really? Is she yeah. got? Is she out of control now? Uh, no, I mean you know she's always been out of control, but it's just a little bit too much, like trying to appropriate. And I don't mind even like a little minor appropriate. It's like what's it's the like fine line between blackface? appropriation and enthusiasm? Oh man, um, I'd say that I I gotta go with like Rachel Dolezal is probably the extent of like too much appropriation. Where you start claiming to be black. Rachel Dolezal was, uh, she was the prominent leader of a pro-black foundation, but she had basically been born a white woman, but had, uh, she had a, a severe tan. I don't know, an extreme tan, I guess I should say. And she was, she was marking black on like applications and legal documentation. Oh Lord. Yeah, um, but she was born a white woman. There's so I kind of feel a picture of her as a teenager and then a picture of her as an adult. And exactly. I was like, I'm like, oh, exactly. Uh, that happened a while ago. I don't even remember what foundation it was necessarily for. But I would have to say is that that's the point. Like, no matter how much uh, like of an enthusiast of white culture I may be myself, I would never be like, oh, I'm a white guy. You know, I feel like that's going too far. And I mean, you know, there may be some points in my past that, you know, if uh, this podcast <laughs> ever blow up, I could talk about. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, it'd be content. Yeah, yeah, I know. But yeah. yeah, I feel like for a black enthusiast, when you start claiming black on your W-2s, that's probably an issue. Gotcha. Dropping the N-word. I mean, yeah, that's never acceptable. Let me ask you a question. What's that? So if a so a white dude? Yes. Oh, I love this. Okay. Okay. Going. And then this will end it because we're at time. So like a white dude grows up in like an all black neighborhood. Yeah. All his like he's like all his friends are black and like he, like he grew immersed in black culture. Yes. <clears throat> and then he feels like he can say the n word. He may be able to around his friends. That may be an acceptable thing. Because he's so, it's like that is just who he, it's part of his culture. Here's, or the, like, th here's the thing. If you're truly immersed in black culture, you realize that you can't say that around every black guy. All right. You got to Like have he couldn't go to another town and start dropping it. Exactly. That does not mean, just because your friends gave you the N-word <laughs> pass, Jonas, honestly, I feel like you, I feel like you could probably get an N-word pass. But it's. I but feel it's, like you could definitely get I one. I feel like that's. I would a, like to hear you say no it. No way. I, <laughs> I feel like it's a slippery slope because it if is. you get used to saying it, it's not, it's like, it's like me calling everyone dude. Like I say dude all the time. And if, if dude was a, like, could be a slur and I just like, D -d 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 -d, go to another town. I'm like, what up dude? And they're like, what that's the. That's the thing. Like. That? And that's when it even comes to other like uh, derogatory comments or, or slurs or like uh, things that might target people. You got to be careful when you're saying them and when you're saying them in your home, you may accidentally say them in public. And I've, I've actually been like a uh, subject to that where I had a gay friend and I accidentally said something that might have been derogatory. And I was like, you know, what? Hey, that was, that's my fault. And I've, I've tried to be a better person because of that. So like I, like, like I say, if your friends, if you truly immersed in culture and you got an N-word pass from your friends, then you already know is that you can't go everywhere and say that. You can't go online saying that. You got to you gotta monitor yourself. When you alone with your friends, go ahead and use that because they gave you the pass. It's cool for them, but it's not cool for everybody. And no, not everybody's sense. the no, same. No, no, no. I get that. That makes perfect yeah. sense. So anyways, that's all time we have for this episode. Go to the crease now.com for Jonas. TNT. Oh, uh, yeah.